Welcome back. First up, the announcement of the winners of the Emolent giveaway lights. Um, these are them. That is Bob Gox has won the 4500 Lumen Emolent DM70 and I'm not even going to try to say that has won the Emolent DM35. So I have commented below your comments. So if this is you, you need to email me. Super thanks again to Neil's Gadgets for this giveaway. If you did not win and you still want to get these, there is a coupon code in here so you can get the best possible deal on them. Um, also, Thanking Neil's Gadgets once again for sending me these FW3As, this nice pile of candy for review. There are a whole bunch of new versions of this light that are in stock now. Loads of candy. I got as many of the possible variations as I could that were ready when these shipped to me. That is several body colors as well as body types. We have the standard aluminum, the bare aluminum. The titanium version is now out. The copper was not quite ready yet when I got these, uh, but those, the copper and the titanium will come into finishes, polished and brushed or stone washed is what they're calling the titanium. I got the polished titanium, also the polished aluminum, the purplish pink body color, green and that is gray, actually. It looks a little blue to me, but there is also a deep blue. In addition to that, there are variants on the tail caps in several colors, as well as this one that's my particular favorite is this kind of a swirl, like a peppermint on there. Glow in the dark rings for the front in several colors, as well as optics with tritium installed. So Lumen Top and Neil's Gadgets have really gone all out with these. Now, most importantly of all, they are available in several color tints for the LEDs, which is why we're doing another video. <laughs> we can get these in a range all the way down from 3000K up to 6500K color temperatures. There are the Cree LEDs, the Nietzsche 219B, as well as Luminous SST20s. I was able to get four of the different variations, and so, we're going to take a look at the color temperature, how the color rendering is, and also the beam profile. First up is our 6500K. That's our Cree XPL high LEDs. Down here to the left, that part of the cabinet, those drawers are pure white. Then of course on our stream lights over there, we've got some reds. The motorcycle jacket is safety yellow. Now we'll go to the 5700K. This is also XPL high. You can see with this we get a little bit more yellow in our Still looking good on our yellows. Now we're going to go to the 4000K. This is our Nietzsche 219B. High CRI on these. Now we'll go down to our 3000K. This is also Cree XPL. Got some good orange and brown in this. I do see just a little bit of a pink rosy color, which I don't really care for that. I prefer the the orangey brown yellow in my 3000K, but it's not too bad. It's pretty slight. Next, we'll take a crack at the beam profile. This is our 6500K, the XPL high emitters, turbo. 
back it down a little. Now we'll go to the Nietzsche LEDs. You know, at regular distance, I I can't really tell much difference between the two. Maybe a little wider, a little bit less hot spot on the Nietzsche's. Go back just a little further and try it again. Cree XPL high. Nietzsche 219. Try them down lower. Let's On the left is Nietzsche, on the right is the Cree. It's hard to see on the camera, but I feel like that this one really does, the XPL really does look fuller in the middle. Like if you're looking at the barns, the sheds, like it's brighter in the middle, a little, so a little bit narrower focus. There are links in the description for all of these great new lights and a coupon code to save you some money. As always guys, super thanks for watching and good lucks.